Join me as I put my fishing skills to the test in a showdown between bait casters and spinning reels. Can I catch more fish with one over the other? When it comes to fishing, one of the most debated topics among anglers is the choice between bait caster and spinning reels. These two types of reels have been around for decades, each with their unique features, advantages, and disadvantages. But what really sets them apart, and which one is better suited for your fishing needs? If you're an angler, you've probably faced the dilemma of which reel to use in different fishing scenarios. Do you grab your trusty bait caster for accuracy and distance, or do you opt for the ease of use and versatility of a spinning reel? The answer often lies in understanding the specific fishing technique you're using, the type of fish you're targeting, and the environment you're fishing in. For instance, when fishing in tight spaces or targeting smaller fish, a spinning reel might be the better choice. But when you need to cast long distances or handle larger fish, a bait caster could be the way to go. However, there's more to it than just the type of fishing you're doing. Your personal preference, skill level, and the size and type of bait you're using also play a significant role in determining which reel to use. So, how do you make an informed decision when it comes to choosing between bait casters and spinning reels? That's what we're going to explore today. When it comes to casting distance, bait casters are generally the clear winner. They allow for longer, more accurate casts, making them ideal for targeting fish at a distance. However, this comes at the cost of complexity and a steeper learning curve. Spinning reels, on the other hand, are much easier to use, especially for beginners, but they often sacrifice casting distance and accuracy. Another key aspect to consider is the type of fishing technique you're using. For example, if you're into finesse fishing or using lighter lures, a spinning reel might be the better choice. But if you're using heavier lures or targeting larger fish, a bait caster could give you the extra power and control you need. In our practical demonstration today, we put both reel types to the test in the same fishing conditions to see how they perform. We used the same rod, line, and lure to eliminate any variables, and the results were quite surprising. The bait caster performed exceptionally well when it came to casting distance and accuracy, especially when targeting fish at a distance. However, it struggled with smaller fish and lighter lures, often resulting in snapped lines or lost fish. The spinning reel, on the other hand, excelled when it came to finesse fishing and handling smaller fish, but it fell short when trying to cast long distances or target larger fish. So, what did we learn from our demonstration today? In the end, it all comes down to understanding your fishing needs and choosing the right tool for the job. Both bait casters and spinning reels have their strengths and weaknesses, and by recognizing these differences, you can make an informed decision about which reel to use in different fishing scenarios. I put links in the description for both types of reels so that you can check them out for yourselves. I'd love to hear about your experiences with bait casters and spinning reels in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other fishing videos for more tips and techniques, and I'll see you in the next one.